Hey, this is Lula, and this is the series where we look at the most expensive house for sale in each state. And today we are in lovely Arkansas, where I had to fish through a few commercial properties in order to get to the, the most expensive actual house. Uh, and that is this mansion with a very busy roof line. My, my knowledge of roof lines is mostly limited to uh, playing The Sims, but this seems really complex to me. This would be difficult to make in The Sims. Um, this is uh, almost seven million, six beds, seven baths, so much more modest than what we were seeing in uh, Arizona in the last video. All right, here's the back view, which is a bit busier in terms of, that's a lot of balcony, a lot of stairs, big, huge lawn. That's great for the environment, I'm sure. All right, we've got a sitting area out back. Do you think they have enough chairs, is my question. All right, this is the most poorly, this is either like a screen, like like not even a gas fireplace, but just like a, an electronic like image of a fireplace, or it's a really bad Photoshop. I suspect it's really bad Photoshop, but it does bring us to right away cardinal sin number one of the rich person house TV over the fireplace, which is terrible for the TV, which doesn't matter because they're going to buy a new one every year. Uh, and, you know, it's, it seems a little more egregious here. Normally you see it over the, around this, like, more formal sitting area where it's supposed to look like all of this nice seating is gathered around the fireplace and, oh, look at that, there happens to be a TV up there. We never watched that. This is a couch. Like, that's, it's a sectional couch looks like it's supposed to be around a TV. And so the fireplace looks incidental instead. Um, we've got the living room open to, I assume that's the kitchen back there. Um, I don't see a dining area. Maybe that's hidden over, th oh yeah, I see a chandelier. That's probably the dining area over there. Which means the whole house sounds like a kitchen all the time. Or at least this whole section of the house. All right, we've got a kitchen island. Ooh, do you see that? That is, that is the sweet spot. That's the beauty. That's the pasta arm. I love a pasta arm. It's for filling up pots. It's a mono use, but just so, ugh, I would love, I would love to live the pasta arm life. That's, that's my goal. All right. Got this dining area. You know, these chairs, I don't think I've seen chairs that plain in a house this expensive before you know like they're nice chairs but i expect something more like elaborate this is a really simple and and you know this is a very simple chandelier. this is all very minimalist it's understated you know i'm i'm kind of i don't know if it goes but i as as a as a break from what i see in other rich people houses i'm kind of into it um, and then, of course, they've got the can lights. You know, we got to give people a break on the can lights. Everyone drilled holes in their ceilings in 2003, and now they can't get rid of them. Toaster oven in the pantry. I'm, I'm kind of about that. We like the big walk-in pantry. Um, looks easy to organize. Toaster also in the pantry. I don't think that's... I don't, like, I don't imagine that there's an outlet there. I think that's just, like, they have to go fetch the toaster and bring it out to the kitchen because, God forbid, the toaster sit out. You can't let the people know you eat. That's, that's the rule of the, the wealthy kitchen. All, all evidence that you eat must be hidden. And you'll notice, where's the refrigerator? Where's, I bet, I, this is the refrigerator over here. It is disguised to look like a cabinet because you can't let people know that you have a refrigerator. You can't let them know you eat. All right. 
Here's the first bedroom, and we've got another TV over the fireplace right away. All right. Um, another one of these minimalist chandeliers. Um, we don't have a sitting area in here. We got like one chair, which with like a reading light, so it clearly is like go sit in your chair and read before bed kind of thing. Um, overall, it's it's so white. It's so stark. It's it's giving pottery barn, you know. And for for seven million dollars, it it shouldn't look like a pottery barn. Yeah, just a little bit of color in here would go so far just like even one wall just one wall and more white and we've got a giant bathtub we like oh yeah yeah I'm, a, I'm into a giant bathtub of course you need a chandelier over every giant bathtub that's the that's the law i mean the, the freestanding bathtub is very trendy in in rich houses but all like I used to have a clawfoot bathtub in in a, this ancient house that I lived in. It was very hard to clean around. So like you've just made all this awkward space that's gonna be awkward to clean. But of course these people don't clean their own houses, so they don't care. Um, all right, here's the rest of the bathroom. We got a shower here, his and hers sinks, uh, plenty of cabinetry. Good lord, what do you even keep in all of those? I would run out of stuff. I would run out of stuff to put in there. Here's the show. <laughs> uh, so a friend of mine, her mom had a giant jacuzzi tub in, in this house that she bought. And she's not a bath person. She's a shower person. So she removed the jacuzzi tub and put in a giant shower like this. But it was so big because it had to take up the whole space that the bathtub took up. It's so big that it, it felt awkward to have like one shower head on one end. So she had to put one on either end, which is what's happened here. They had to put in two shower heads because it, if you just had one, it wouldn't even reach over here. So now it just looks like you're having like shower sex parties. You know, it looks like you're inviting the whole football team in here to all shower together. And it's... It's not, it's not impressive to me, you know? There's like a luxurious shower and then there's just, it's going to take so long for it to feel tolerably warm in there. Uh, and it's, and it's all blindingly white. It's, God, do they have eye strain all the time? I think about how many apps I keep on dark mode on my computer and it's like, I need dark mode for this house. I Okay, you know what? These little pull-out, these pull-out cabinets, those are, they went to closets and more. They, they hired a closet organizer system. I get coupons for those in the mail. Oh, dear Lord, a lot of shoes. Okay, a lot of shoes. That's why we need a whole room for all of our clothes. Um, oh, I see. So I don't know if you caught that. Washing, washer dryer right here outside of the closet that seems really convenient um man if only that sounds awesome but i also like this is one person's walk-in closet do they have multiple washer dryers or do all of the walk-in closets connect to this who can say uh oh we got we got a little dog dish here with like a dedicated faucet for the dog dish so that you don't have to carry it back and forth. Um, creative, I guess. Uh, necessary? I, I don't know. How far away is the sink? Oh, I guess people are busy. A lot of coat hook space. Everything white. Everything white. Oh, finally, some color, and it's gray. We've picked gray as our color, and yet we still look like a pottery barn. Also, this looks like siding. What is this horizontal slat pattern? It looks like we've inverted the house. Um. Oh, darker gray. This is this house is Fifty Shades of Gray and just as classy. 
So they've tried to do like minimalism with this desk. And yet they've got this super like ornate it's not even ornate it's just it's just too fancy of a chair for this desk and the thing about having the desk that's open like this is all these cords are just hanging out and they look like shit and you've got the desk in the middle of the room so you've just got this nightmare nest of cords where did they plug in this can't possibly be plugged into anything i this has got to be unplugged, and they wrapped this up so it wouldn't look annoying, because normally they have to drag the cord over there, and you've got a cord sitting across the floor, because this is a stupid setup. That's what it is. It is? I'm going to say it. That's a stupid setup. Um, windows are nice. Built-in bookshelves are nice. I would have them a different color, personally. Um, let's, let's keep moving on through. We're getting distracted. More white. Wainscoting's nice, but it's all white. You know what? The, the purpose of Wayne's, uh, of a chair rail like this is so that you can have, like, bolder colors up top and, and for it to, like, you don't have to do one feature wall. You could just have, like, like, bold colors up top and then white or some other neutral color at the bottom and it kind of evens and mellows out the bright colors but no they've done white wainscoting and slightly different white up top and we are still in the pottery barn we're still in the pottery barn folks um at least we've got this nice rug as as color here oh all right we've we've gone in a roundabout way but we are finally in the entryway Got double doors. That's kind of nice. Stairs off to the side instead of doing like a grand central stairway. Um, which is more understated than you tend to see in these houses. And so this just opens up into this main area where everything sounds like a kitchen. And then I assume upstairs are bedrooms. Oh, here we have it. The billiards table. Are you rich if you don't have a billiards table? The world may never know. They also have a private theater area here, but notably, it's not like cordoned off, so you would have to make this entire room dark for the theater. I, I mean, it looks like there's some sort of drawdown blind on here so that you can do that, but... And then this is... Is that shuffle? I think that's shuffleboard. I don't actually know what shuffleboard is. I think I played it once at a summer camp. It's They've got the, the shuffleboard and the billiards with matching woodwork. So that's... Okay. Okay. Um, they've gone black for the ceiling, which I think is because it's a theater. So you want everything dark for the theater. Um, very... Oh, they've got beanbag chairs. That's cute. Um, yeah, just a very large space to have a theater in. You really have to, like, shut down this whole thing anytime someone wants to watch a movie. Uh, you got a little snack bar over here so you don't have to go too far for movie time. Ooh, here's where we put the children. And again, again, we saw the same thing in Alabama. They've got this huge house. They've got this gigantic house and they're sleeping these children four to a room like how many of them do you think snore i bet it's at least two of them i bet there's two children that snore and the other two hate them um you got a play area over here and it's it's so sterile everything's gray and white these poor kids they've never seen color in their lives this looks like a medical setting this looks like where they kept the children in stranger things where they'd like have a sterile white room and everyone in hospital gowns and they'd paint a single rainbow on the wall and call it a children's room that's the vibe i'm getting here that's the vibe just ugh. barracks that's what it is it's barracks for the children um, all right, we got a workout room. We've got, is that a Peloton? I don't actually, I think that's actually a Peloton. 
Yeah, I think that's what that label says. I don't, I don't know that I've ever actually seen one in a Zillow listing, but uh, there it is. Let the Peloton memes start. Uh, we got a bench, but no, uh, no system for for an actual bar. Just you're just doing free weights, I guess. Got a TV that you can see in the reflection. Goes out onto the balcony, which is that's nice. Um. All right, here's the balcony. Oh, this is the balcony in snow. Interesting. All right, I got quite a bit of snow here. And another bedroom. Got a little wicker chair thing. It, is this an Airbnb? Because there's a Keurig right here. Why is there a Keurig in this? I They've got to be like renting this out as an Airbnb. They've got a $7 million house. Why are they renting out the room? Or maybe this is, maybe that's just how they treat their guests. They treat their guests as if they're at an Airbnb and they give them their own Keurig. They can't make them coffee downstairs. That's weird to me. It's very weird to me. Um, is this a s second kitchen? I'm, I'm, maybe there's like a separate apartment attachment on this house. Maybe that's what this is about. The stove is missing. So this is like a half, and the fridge is missing. So this was supposed to be a kitchen, and it's not finished. So this was maybe supposed to be a separate apartment that's not finished. And yet they're sleeping the children for to a room, I remind you. I remind you, they've got a second kitchen, four children in one bedroom. All right, we got this big, huge, empty room. You know what? You could put... Just like a little wall, just a little wall right here. One of those children would gladly sleep in that little closet-sized room. They would be so happy to get away from their siblings. All right. Got another bathroom. This one's got a little bit of color in it. This very muted grayish sea foam. Um, I'm like, oh, it's color. And we got another giant shower nothing except oh oh this is what is going on here is that that's just a ledge i think this is a this is a sit down shower of some sort that might be like a disability accommodation maybe so maybe they've got someone that they custom built that because this is not a roll in shower This, at first I thought that was like a little, you know, it, like in Japan, they've got those tiny square baths, but that's not what this is. I think you sit on that. And we've got the dock. We've got the dock. It's not quite a boat garage, but it is covered. It does have two, maybe four. These might also be boat docks, but I'm thinking maybe just those. And that's what we've got. All right. So overall, I think there were all of two colors in this house, including in the children's room. That's depressing. Um, yeah, it's the whole thing is, is just kind of the pottery barn vibe. You know, I look at all of these big white rooms and it's it's just bland. And I know that's that's supposed to be like the color that sells. So people like paint their whole house white so that it looks like clean and modern for the sale. But it just looks soulless. It it looks bleak. It looks medical. It's giving it's giving hospital. You know, um, not exactly what I would expect from Arkansas. Uh. I, I guess I, I expected taxidermy. <laughs> this is very modern and stylish and, and kitschy for, for Arkansas. Um, so it, it definitely fits in with the, the wealthy styling, but, but maybe not so much with the country styling. I think I see, is that a solar panel on the top of the roof there? That would be an interesting addition. Um... 
Yeah, but you know what? Under seven million, huge house. The only downside is you have to live in Arkansas. You know the drill. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. If there's anything you noticed that I missed, point it out. Let me know if there's anything you want to comment on in future videos. And have a good one.